Right, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've just finished streaming, and uh, loads of people alerted me to this. Uh, it's going to be really difficult to be incredibly unbiased uh, through all of this, because I'm not going to lie, this is an utterly moronic statement by Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin, film shooting Russ star and producer, calls for police officers to monitor weapon safety on sets using guns. Right, one... Police are not actually the build and end all of weapon safety. That is a... What are you doing? You know, someone didn't die because there wasn't police there. Why Why? Why the smoke screen? Why are we trying to... I know why. But can we just get the focus on the fact that someone's dead? And tragically, you know, that needs to be resolved first. Secondly, I'm pretty sure uh, police officers are quite stretched at the moment. Because we had all of last year... Uh, with claims to try to defund the police. But now you want them? You hypocrite. I'm sure you were probably part of that as well. Mr. Baldwin. I just... Uh, what is a police officer going to do? If you hired the right person, you didn't pay them eight grand. Reference to earlier video, ladies and gents. Hannah Gutierrez Reed was set to get eight grand. Eight grand was the price of safety. Eight thousand dollars was tragically the price of Helena Hutchins' life. If you didn't pay peanuts, you wouldn't have got a monkey, Alec Baldwin. It's an English phrase, don't worry. There's no thinly veiled weirdness behind it. I'm sure loads of people could probably turn that around, but no, it's not the case. I just... You were set to get 350... You know, 350 grand, but you paid someone 8 grand for safety. What are you doing? What is this? What is this utter nonsense? So let's have a look at... I just cannot believe this. How is this going to solve anything? Follow the safety procedures that are in place. You know, I don't see police on the set of John Wick. How many people died on the set of John Wick? No one. Rust, somewhere where you've paid eight grand for an armourer. That, even, that was even too crazy for Nicolas Cage. That's right. We need police. God, fucking absolute... Just shocking statement. So Alec Baldwin has called for film and TV production companies that use guns to hire police officers to mono monitor weapon safety on set. But you all wanted to defund the Popo last year. What? Oh, now you want them. Now that now they've got a purpose. It's not their job to make sure you do your job properly. It's their job to clean up and ascertain the facts when you don't do your job properly, like has just happened. Uh. So, the Hollywood actor, 63, maybe that's when Alzheimer's starts to happen, uh, made the statement in a post on social media as the police investigation into the shooting on the set of the Western film Russ continues. So, Baldwin uh, accidentally shot and killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins when a gun he was holding went off. This should all say alleged, by the way, because none of this has been proven or disproven, uh, FYI. So Baldwin allegedly accidentally shot and killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins. I'm not saying he did, by the way, but this should still... If we're, if we're talking very unbiased and actual, um, you know, very specific terminology, it should say alleged at this point in time. Uh, when a gun he was holding went off, during filming in New Mexico on 21st of October. Director Joel Souza was also injured. So sharing a short statement on Instagram, originally posted on his Arts Foundation social media account, Baldwin said, Every film and TV set that uses guns, fake or otherwise, should have a police officer on set hired by the production to specifically monitor weapon safety. No, you idiot. That is why you hire a weapons expert. Police officers are not a weapons expert. They're not. They are a policy enforcer. They enforce policies laid in laid out by government. Policy. Police. Policy enforcer. Police enforcer. Policy enforcer. That's all they're there for. They enforce policies. They inspect when policies have not been followed. They ascertain who, you know, committed crimes. I mean, they're not weapons experts. You hired someone that you purported you, you 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 supposedly thought was a weapons expert hannah gutierrez reed but you didn't really you hired her because her father was a weapons expert 
And then you thought, well, we'll pay this this one eight grand. That'll be fine. I'll pay myself 350 grand, shall I? <sighs> I just... What a ridiculous statement. People told me this whilst I was streaming. FYI, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9pm UK time. They're good times. Hang out. You, you might enjoy them. And... And I couldn't believe it. And I had a look then, and I couldn't contain myself. I genuinely am shocked by the utter imbecilic statement on show here. And the, the, the sentiment is so disgusting. You know, Helena Hutchins didn't die because there was no there was no police officer there. Died because... Oh. Ugh. Anyway, uh, Baldwin, who was a producer on the film as well as its star, said he had been left devastated by the shooting... And the thing is, look, you've got, you know, last week the actor shared a post from a crew member defending conditions on set, following reports circulating about safety in the days leading up to the tragedy. Well, look, you can say that the film was as safe as you like, but if it was, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have to be saying it. You wouldn't have to be defending it. Uh, costume designer Therese Magpel Davies, who worked on the film, hit back at the reports on social media, saying in a post. Uh, that the story being spun of us being overworked and surrounded by unsafe, chaotic conditions is um, bollocks. These producers who supposedly don't care about their crew have worked tirelessly alongside us. But someone's dead. So it is unsafe. Just by that mere fact, it is unsafe. It was unsafe. It was an accident waiting to happen. <sighs> so... I mean, that's basically it. There's not much else really to go around, really. Um, there's not much else to, to discuss here. It's just a, an absolutely moronic statement. Uh, following the tragedy, the Santa Fe Sheriff's Officer said that there had been some complacency in how weapons were handled on set. But yes, remember, a police officer is going to resolve that. No, they're not. Uh, authorities are investigating how a suspected live round came to be in the firearm, which had been declared safe by an assistant director. According to court documents, production on Russ has been halted indefinitely. The film's never been finished. Uh, and I, in fact, I think it's incredibly distasteful if it does. Uh, meanwhile, it emerged at the weekend that another crew member who was working on the film was in hospital after being bitten by a spider following the shooting. It's not really related, but never mind. Jason Miller, a lamp operator, and pipe rigger was working to wind down production on the film, was bitten by a brown uh, recluse spider, a venomous spider that's native to North America. Interesting stuff. Anyway, look, I mean, at the end of the day, what... What a ridiculous statement by Alec Baldwin. Yes, we need police officers. Oh, now you want them. Now you think police officers are worth stuff. Also, not worth anything in terms of what you're asking them to do. They're not They're not weapons experts. That's why you hired a supposed weapons expert. I'm sure they would do their job very well if you hired them to do it. But you, uh, first and foremost, you should probably just follow safety protocols in place in the industry, which has kept people alive for nearly 30 years, because that was when the last time someone was fatally shot on the crow. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Miss H Reviews. Take care.